Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild. We are back with another YouTube Space Engineers video. If you guys enjoy these videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It really helps out. And we're trying to get to 1,500 subscribers now. We are on the way almost to 1,200. Uh, just about 300 to go. So, just a very simple goal to make it to for this uh, channel. I'd like to grow the channel a little bit more so I can bring you guys some more awesome content like this but for those of you that have been wondering what these are behind me this is the final solution pardon the <laughs> pardon the obvious uh, misinterpretation there to the railgun drone that we have seen recently now I showed off the railgun drone showed off how powerful it was and how effective it was at destroying bases and said there needs to be a a way to fix this and Aaron from last end gamers came out and said oh the, these things are very strong and very overpowered so this is the solution to this so coming into the the camera here when I come up you're gonna see what we have here is a very basic drone you can see here the way these guys are moving around looking at me they can stay in the air they've got plenty of power they don't have a rail gun but they've got four auto cannons in a sort of a cross shaped pattern on the front of this thing and I figured out that by doing this the railgun will actually maintain sustained fire in other words it'll alternate or systematically fire one right after the other in a chain fashion without the use of timer blocks so placing your guns like this your auto cannons they don't all fire at once in like a salvo they'll fire continuously or uh they'll i guess they'll do like a salvo fire but it won't be like a full salvo it'll just be like individual salvoing so to deal with this if i push tab here you'll notice we've got several sprt antennas and these down here are the railgun drones that aaron was talking about in last end gamers so what i'm going to do here i am first off going to find where is the main guy at I don't see him anywhere which one is main let me just gain remote access here of main here okay there he is so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a fairly good distance here. I'm going to lock my inertial dampeners here to this guy. I am then going to go into info. We're going to drag him over there. This is just a simple way to send a few of them in. Take control and access the number two camera. And off we go. Now, the other drones will follow as this drone goes in. And we're going to see what happens when this drone gets one into range and begins fighting these other drones. Because the, the effect of these things are quite effective. Now, okay, enemy drones are moving. We're going to activate all systems. And now the drone is on autopilot. I am simply a humble spectator watching how this drone works. Now you can see we've got rail guns flying at us. They are attempting to kill us right now. So far I don't think we've lost a single drone. We might, we might not have. The drone is now peeled off at a very sharp angle. And see, we haven't lost a single drone yet, but they are coming back at them. They're attempting to hit them, but these things are coming in. And you'll notice how this thing comes in an attack. It comes in at a very shallow angle and hits the railgun drone so fast it doesn't have much time to respond. There's also another thing that happens with the uh, railgun drones when this thing attacks. We've got a lot of noise here. Now you notice it just peeled off that one and is now trying to engage another target. Now I'll show you what that is and how this thing operates. Number one 
is our AI offensive combat. We've given this thing a specific targeting interval. Number one, it's on an attack pattern hit and run. And the breakoff distance is 250 meters. The retreat distance is 1,000 meters. Retreat timeout is 10 seconds, so it's not retreating very far. This is what's interesting. Retreat angle. The, lower, the closer you get to zero, the less of a sharpened angle you're going to come in. You're not going to come in and then immediately come back. This thing's really hammering away at that. So now we've got another railgun drone down. We're going to see just how effective these things have been. But what happens is this thing comes at the target. You notice as it's flying in, it comes in at a very, very shallow angle and then breaks off past the target. This prevents the railgun drone from getting a decent lock on it and allows it to break past so that when the railgun drone attempts to escape, it just shoots on past. We may end up hitting the ground here because these things don't turn too well. <laughs> Oh wait, no, it's gonna, it's gonna fight it. It's gonna fight it. It's gonna fight it. Ugh. Yeah, the drones just hit the ground here. So anyway, let me hop up here for a second. Railgun drone hit the ground. We've got one more in the air. Uh, I don't see the other ones. I think it, they have downed all of them at this point. We lost two drones simply by them hitting the ground because this one was going down for some reason. But the other... Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, is he fallen? He is fallen. He is done. I think he's been ended. So let's see if we can lock on to one of the other drones here. And basically take control of it. So I can show you guys what's going on here in the control panel. So if I can find... Well, that one doesn't have one. Here's what I'll do. I'll just, uh, I could pop in another drone. Let me pop out here. Is that it? Is it over? No, they are coming back. They are looking for something. So the other thing that's happening here is I've told the SPRT drones. Oh, wait, here they are. Not, not the SPRTs, the FST drones. These things have come back and they basically dealt with the problem. This one took a hit. I'm trying to figure out which one of these hit. Now, the only problem I have is these things are hitting the ground a lot. But the railguns have done, have a very hard time of touching these. You can see right here, the other units basically just smacked the ground because that one got low. That's the only problem here with this. But let me uh, hop in here real fast. We'll go to remote access here to the very closest one that I've got. And I can show you guys what else is happening here since we don't have all the, the crazy stuff happening. Most of this is happening in the AI offensive combat. And uh, like I said, this thing is coming in at a very shallow retreat angle at about a 25 degree angle which means the closer this gets to zero the more shallow it is and the closer it gets to like a straight line this thing is basically making a very tiny pull away from the target at the last second within about the 250 meter range which prevents the railgun drone from actually engaging and this is what i mean by i was talking to some people online in the chat and i said yeah there's some tactics i'm going to use the, this is how I've set this drone up to fight back. The retreat angle is at 25 degrees, which is a very, sh like I said, shallow angle. It'll come in there, it'll just zip right past it like it's nothing. This is basically a hit and run drone. It it does true hit and run attacks, whereas normally we've seen the hit and run attacks. The drone comes in, then breaks off at a sharp angle. This just punches right past the drone entirely. And I think this is the best way to fight fighters, because then this thing hits, it comes in, it breaks off target, and it moves away very quickly. The other thing here is the targeting. I have this thing set to target weapons. The reason being, and uh, this is the thing that I noticed, when I was operating these things uh, and making them fight, let me hop off here. When I was operating these drones and having them fight the other SPRT drones, over here at the ore facility, you know, like the aggressors and all of those, and the spiteful aggressor. One thing I noticed was, uh, sometimes in combat, when I had machine guns on these drones here, there's one of them right here, I originally had machine guns on these, and what would happen is they would engage the SPRT drones, the harassers and all that, and the aggressors, and they would attack them, but then the aggressors would suddenly turn around and run away. And so by looking at the drone after we got done, I realized this was neutralizing the drone by targeting its weapon systems. 
uh, right now there's nothing else to target. If we go down here to this SPRT or this railgun drone, you will notice, uh, yeah, it's hit the ground. Let's see if I can find one that hasn't been like totally destroyed here. I don't think any of them have really survived. They all kind of just hit the ground. I'm looking for one that still has, yeah. So, right here, let me pull out. And if we look here, you can see the railgun, though this thing is upside down, the railgun has been completely smacked. And what happens is when the drone does not detect another railgun, the railgun is a big block. If you look at the size of this thing, it is, let's see here, roughly two, three, four, five, six, seven, I, I would say almost eight blocks long and two blocks high, uh, and a single block as width. What happens is these drones are targeting the very largest block, which coincidentally just happens to be the most lethal block. It's what makes this thing so dangerous. So even though the um, assault cannon can do a whole lot of penetrative damage, once it takes out this railgun drone, this drone is completely useless. So then it turns around and automatically says, okay, target has been destroyed, five seconds, it then moves on to the next target, which has a gun. It is basically going in and using a minimal amount of fire to eliminate the main drone. And these things, um, if y'all want, I, I will do a separate review of this, showing how I came to this thing and do a review on this thing, on how it works and uh, all the features of this, because it's got some pretty cool features built into it. It operates very well, and it is very quick. By the way, folks, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, hope you guys see that, yes, it, it doesn't matter how powerful a drone is made, a couple of tweaks to the system and the right weapon system, you can turn any drone, you, you, you can make your own counter. That's one of the reasons why it's called Space Engineers, okay? You gotta engineer your way around the problem. And this is just a quick way to do it. I will be putting this drone up on the workshop if you guys want to play with it. Um, it has a few things going for it. Yes, it's got the, the main guns, but in the very back, this actually has six small blocks of free space for you guys to put whatever tactics on this you want. And I think this thing can be used for multiple... You can probably set these things to ha handle multiple problems at a time. I'm going to try and do some more experiments with them because they, they're actually pretty effective. They're quick to produce. Uh, you guys can just print one of these off just like that. Uh, they, they'll come right off the printing press and you can just print them off, throw some uranium in them, turn them loose, have them go to an area. You can have them to set up any, any type of AI manipulation that has these things connect to anything or land or patrol you can put into this thing and there's six free spaces to make it work so it's a lot of thought has gone into this in the past week to make this sucker work and uh, it's very mean i'm not sure what i'm going to call it i think i'm going to call it the wolf pack drone because that's basically what it does it's they're basically like wolves they move in fast and they zip around the target uh, if you've ever seen wolves attack a moose or something like that you understand what i'm talking about but anyway folks hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to again like comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel it helps out it boosts the video up it gets it out there to more viewers and it helps this channel out that helps me out it's the cheapest thing y'all can do to help out the channel because i ain't got no monetization at the moment <laughs> i'm still working on that so anyway thank you all for watching and once again this is badger wild saying stay safe stay frosty and i am signing out